one of the first things that I wanted to do when launching Ableton Live and with this controller, uh, the APK225, was have drums on on the one, play drums on the one side and some kind of keyboard instrument on the other side. When we draw on a keyboard instrument in one channel and um, a drums instrument, a drum kit into the other channel, what happens is um, if we arm a channel, we can play the keys. And on the pads, however, we also have the same instrument. And if we switch to the drum kit, we can play the drums on the pads, but the drums would also play on the keys. So to understand what's going on, um, we have to dig a little deeper how the controller is actually sending um, the keyboard events and the pad events to the computer. So if we go into edit mode of the preset, we can see that the pads actually send messages onto channel 2. And the keys, on the other hand, are sending messages to channel 1. So instead of uh, so in Ableton instead of listening on all channels we want to select channel 1 for the keys and channel 2 for the drums and then furthermore we need to arm both channels simultaneously for input when you launch uh, Ableton for the first time it will exclusively only arm one channel you need to do a right click and check off the arm exclusive. Enable both channels. And then what we should have is playing the keys. And the drums on the pads. Just what we wanted. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel.